Hey guys, this is Maggie from Personal Euphoria. We're doing this plank story again today because it froze in the middle and you missed the best part. Like the, the, the moment you've all been waiting for got cut off. But so just to review, while this is a plank story and it started with plank, you can of course do your favorite plank, side plank, straight arm plank, any plank you want, or pick any movement because really the goal is to get you to start moving and then hopefully keep moving. With that, we will get the clock on and hope that it goes smoothly and doesn't freeze now. Let's see. Here we go. So I've been going up to New Hampshire a lot, and I went up this weekend to meet my friend Julie and hike. I was really looking forward to it, but then once I got up there, I really started to not feel well. And now I think I've maybe had a sinus infection for a while that I've been brushing off as really bad allergies, presuming I, I had allergies but I don't normally get allergies this bad. So I think now, in hindsight, I realize I had a sinus infection, but I also started to develop a pretty bad sore throat. And I looked in my throat and I had white spots all over my tonsils. And because I'm not familiar with doctors there, I didn't want to develop strep throat in the night or be coming down with strep throat and have nowhere to go, no 24-hour CVS that I know of, nothing that I could get any kind of care for. So I decided to get over to the walk-in clinic while it was open. And there is an expectation of healthcare that I have come to think of as standard in the state of Connecticut. I've actually been to the doctor many times for a, a pharyngitis or tonsillitis, strep, a sinus infection. So I'm pretty familiar. Normally I go into the doctor's office and when she comes in, she talks to me a little bit about my symptoms. They have already taken my oxygen levels. They've taken my temperature. They've done my blood pressure, basic vitals, you know. And then the doctor looks in my throat, looks in my ears, looks up my nose, Nose, looks in my eyes, feels me for swollen lymph nodes and swollen glands, and then makes an assessment. While I don't want to judge the whole medical community in North Carolina, and I am going to, I'm not North Carolina, New Hampshire, I'm going to presume that I didn't get the highest quality practitioner on this particular day, that that's really the issue here, because she walks in no one's taken my temperature. I have said when I came in that I had a sore throat, spots on my tonsils, and all this sinus pressure. She doesn't feel me. She doesn't look at anything. She says, so normally when we have tonsil issues, we think gonorrhea. And I, I almost didn't even know what to say. Like, I've been to the doctor so many times for sore throats, even white spots on my tonsils when I did have strep in the past. No one's ever brought up gonorrhea to me. So I don't know if that's a difference between Connecticut and New Hampshire. Is there a much more common occurrence of gonorrhea in New Hampshire that like it comes up more frequently? So anyway, I, I look at her and I say, I don't have gonorrhea. When I think spots on the tonsils, I think strep throat. And we do a strep test. It comes back negative. So then I say, you know, will you look at my throat? And she does. She goes, your throat looks fine. I said, really? We look again because I see white spots all over my tonsils. She looks again. She goes, well, yeah, I don't know how I missed that the first time, which doesn't exude any more confidence. Uh, so I don't know. Like antibiotics seems to have solved it. We settled on tonsillitis because I didn't have strep and I'm, you know, 99% sure I don't have gonorrhea. And <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm feeling much better. Uh I will say Google doesn't, if you look up white spots on tonsils, gonorrhea doesn't even come up. It's like strep throat, tonsillitis, mono. It's not like a not long list and then gonorrhea. It's not even a choice. So I'm not, an, I'm not a medical expert, but uh, I, and I guess I don't know all the symptoms of gonorrhea, but anyway, it, it's the first go-to with tonsils, at least for this particular practitioner in New Hampshire. So anyway, with that, I hope you guys had a good chuckle. I hope you keep moving. I hope you feel great. And I hope you don't have gonorrhea. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, that's a three minute and 50 second plank. It was only two minutes and 52 seconds the first time. So obviously I, I didn't tell it quite the same. <laughs>